Blog Talk Radio. All right, so I guess I got more time here. So why don't you guys just call in 15 speakers and six viewers in uh, Tony's gimmick, wherever the fuck this is. Um, it's supposed to be a wrap-up show, but it's not going to be a wrap-up show because apparently uh, Tony lost his shit, gave me the password, and said, fuck it. And to be totally honest with you guys, I think Tony, um, like being real, being being completely real here and breaking breaking some walls down. What the, what the fuck do you call it? The fourth uh, the fourth wall? Is that what it is? And hey Spectre, hey Internet friend, what's up Triple D Douglas? You fucking idiot. Um, so like. You, you, hey, Triple D Douglas, we already know who the fuck you are. You're Doug. You're Doug, and you like to call in and, and fucking completely ruin shit for shows like my sh- or whatever, Tony's show, Ken's show, and you suck as a caller. And on Howard Stern, they have Jeff the drunk, you're Doug the drunk, and you're a fucking useless piece of human space. But yeah, anyway, um, Tony gave me his password and now I got to do a a wrap up show of whatever the fuck it is for another hour, 58 minutes. I don't have to do that. I'm doing it because of people that I give a shit about in discord. Um, I'm probably going to regret this in the morning. So yeah, you are Doug, you fucking moron. You call in and tell me that you're not Doug, man. Holy shit. Um, Whoppers all around says hello J boob <laughs> you motherfucker. Yeah. Okay, Martin Brody left. I'm actually a fan of Martin Brody's, but whatever. Okay, so um what the fuck is going on as far as uh Tony goes? I have no idea. He bailed on another show, took his ball, went home type of deal. So I don't I don't know what else to say. Ashley is telling me that the BTR chat is full. How does that happen? How the fuck does the BTR room get full? J Boob should be his nickname. I'm, I'm reading this all off of Discord, by the way, because I didn't leave Discord. Um, so apparently Tony F calls in the real Tony F, and then everything goes to hell. I don't know. Um, I, I honestly have nothing to say. So, like, I, I don't even understand why I was asked to be brought on the air with 57 minutes left. This is going to seem like it's a fucking waste of time, kind of like Raw and SmackDown, where they're performing in front of no crowd. And that's exactly how I feel like I'm performing in front of no crowd. Um, Tony Talk at one point in time was a very fun show. Tony Talk was very fun. Um, you had guys like Johnny Longfeather calling in. You had guys like DC2 calling in. DC2 was a huge contributor. Um, at one point, you had Spencer, Jesco, and Jesco still does call in. Um, Juan from Alabama has been in, in a while. Willie Wong, stuff like that. Um, it's a great show to listen to. There is a huge array of characters. And let me tell you something, breaking the fourth wall... Um, starting Tony talk with Higgins was more or less like a, Hey, um, I'm a clay fan. I, w- I listened to clay Douglas. I don't know if anybody else did. Um, but yeah, I listened to clay Douglas when he disappeared and all these guys were calling it. I mean, these were characters that could be easily brought onto another show, which it was, it was brought on to Tony's show. Um, yeah, there's a lot of fucking work that goes into that. I don't think a lot, I don't think anybody really understands the concept of all the work that goes into it. When people get certain calls or there are certain calls that make it through to the show, that is hours on waiting, 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 planning. Man, there's there's a lot of shit that goes on with that. There's a lot of fucking shit that goes on with that. And again, breaking the fourth wall without really breaking the fourth wall down. Tony Talk uh, decide the, the Tony Talk fans or whatever it is. There's a community there, and that's and that's the only reason why I'm on right now. It's literally the only reason why I'm on because when shit falls apart on the real show, um, 
And here I am to pick up the fucking pieces. And, and it's worth it. It's worth it. So, in Triple D Douglas, you're Deborah Tavares. I remember the Deborah Tavares calls. Call the fuck in and, and, and prove to me that you're Deborah Tavares. I'll let you on the air right now. <laughs> But yeah, uh, I mean, I tried to, uh, not I, I mean, a couple of people that tried to get the show going just so people that actually have talent that can call in and, and, and fuck with, you know, and actually have a conversation on the air works, not like dipshits, like what Ken has on his show. And that's what pisses me off the most. And that's what pisses me off the most is you got guys like Ken who Higgins put a lot of time in and a lot of people put a time, a lot of time in and he has a show and people want to hear Ken and whatever. And then you get a bunch of fucking morons that get on the show that he, that he lets sit there and his fans just sit there and the whole goddamn thing falls apart. And then reading comments in the uh, danger smooth room, which used to be the Tony talk room. Tony and Jabo, if Tony Talk was a Disney movie, <laughs> that's Wreck It Ralph. All right, cool. Also, I want to thank whoever changed my name to Cal Quinn Buttfuck Motherfuck in the Blog Talk room. I, I appreciate that. I mean, yeah, like I, I I don't know what else to say or what to do for people. I know guys like Insane Energy put the work in by having this um, live fed. And then Tony, I, I convinced Tony to do a, a show every night for the, you know the whole coronavirus thing because I know you guys want to listen to it. But fuck, man, there was a time and play. There was a time where Tony's show took off and had some great callers. And no offense to people that are calling in right now, like Ash and all them, and Mike Hunt, who's a superb caller, and Cobra Jeff, all those guys that are just phenomenal. But yeah, there's um, there's a, there's a lot of shit now that that, that just it, there's just nothing happening anymore. It's like people stop giving a fuck. So I, I, I guess that I'm sitting here. You know what, dude, if you want to come on the fucking line, yeah. Okay. Triple D Douglas, dude, if you want to come on the fucking line and you want to talk about your first wrap up show, that you called Clay. I remember those wrap-up shows. Those were actually pretty good. If you're really who you, who you say you are, fucking call in then. J just call in. Call in, I'll bring you on the air. If you can provide more entertainment than Tony and myself, and believe me, I'm pretty fucking dry, come on the air. I, I can just sit here and scratch my balls and wait for you. Uh, I don't know what else you want. Ash, you're not boring. Believe me, there's more I get out of you, Ash, than I do of, of anybody else. <laughs> there's more Tony gets from you, Ash, than anybody else. Okay. Go, hold on. Here we go. Here's Triple D Douglas. Go ahead, Mr. Fucking Clay Wrap Up Show. Go for it. Hi, this is Deborah Tavares, Clay. This is. Try, try that again. Try that one more time. Well, you're J Bo, but I'm Deborah Tavares. You don't sound anything like Deborah Tavares. I remember the Deborah Tavares calls. The real Deborah Tavares, the one that sounds like a dude who in the end tells Clay she wants to fuck him. Yeah, I remember those. I actually do. I'm a, I'm a huge Clay fan. I'm I'm a fucking huge Clay fan. Why do you get to here on Blog Talk Radio? I remember you used to call under you used to call under the name Jason and just tell Clay something stupid like maybe you should just calm down and then he'd hang up on you. No, dickhead. I used to call in as the bouncer from Boston because I was at the time a bouncer. And I live in Boston. Now you called under the name Jason. 
Yeah, and we used to talk about motorcycles and shit. Anyways, I'm not some drunk fuck who calls and says his name is something else. I'm Deborah Tavares. No, you're Bye, not. Bitch. You don't sound anything like Deborah Tavares. Good. Hang up on me. Bye, bitch. Great. I'm Deborah Tavares. I'm Deborah Tavares, and, and, and I swear I'm really Deborah. No, you're not. No, you're not, because Deborah Tavares was the same person that played, I think, Beverly from Waverly, Massachusetts. Fuck stick. I'm a, I'm a Clay fan. It does sound like Tony F. You want to do a Tony F impression, fuck stick? Come on here and do a, uh, do a fucking Tony F impression. Fuck. This is definitely not the same person. Bam. Definitely not. Whatever. I'm, I'm I'm losing track on um dude. Call back in, try another voice. I don't know what to tell you. I don't I'm like literally wasting time here. I've got fourteen speakers and four viewers in the chat room. And I have one, two, three, four, five callers. Five callers. Let let's let's call it the way it is. Tony is shitting the bed. His show is not popular anymore. Let's call it the way it is. The things that made Tony's show popular were the callers. What fucking callers do we have? We don't have any callers anymore. None. None of the originals called in tonight. Not one of them. Okay, Internet Friend asks me, what do you think is the future of Tony Talk? There is no Tony Talk. That's the future of Tony Talk. Unless he's a fucking cartoon and somebody decides, somebody out there is an animator who wants to make Tony into a fucking cartoon, good luck. Because, thank you, Insane. I have 43 viewers on YouTube and about 12 of them give a fuck. So that, that's, that's where it comes from. And I don't know what Triple D Douglas is trying to say, but yeah, look at here's what it is. The, 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 the future of Tony. Tony had a run for two years, three years, and shit started to fall apart after Higgins went away. Higgins w would step in. Higgins would step in once in a while to kind of like bind all the glue together and and whatever. But that that's not going to happen for obvious reasons. So as Tony's friend coming on here, I would suggest that this will all be just a kibosh. I think there should be a kibosh put on this. I think that the original callers, if they can all get together again and actually fucking call and keep the show going, it would work. And yeah, I don't want to break forth uh, the fourth wall, but I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of kick it a little bit. There's a lot of work that goes into that show, a lot to keep it going. Because what you have, if there's no work behind it, is this. Something empty. Something, yeah, I miss Sully too. But this is, this is what you get. You get a fucking guy that's bitter and angry on the air. I'm not really that bitter. I'm not really that angry. I'm just annoyed that I can sit here and just speak matter-of-factly. So that's, that's what you guys get. So, yeah, that's it. I, I guess there there is no wrap-up show. There, there wouldn't be a reason for a wrap-up show because not, there was nothing there to wrap up. But at one point in time, let's not bullshit anybody, Tony Talk was a team effort regardless of there just being one host. There was a team effort. And that, that team is not... Uh, that that team is not fucking I, I guess all their players are benched. So I'm gonna chill out on the uh on the after show and uh whoever whatever. I mean he'll he'll obviously be back for another show, 
we'll see how that goes and whatever so yeah guys thanks for listening and um i'm sorry i can't hold your attention as much as tony can wish i could believe me i wish i could and triple d douglas before i hit end episode on this you need to go fuck yourself because you yeah So as as a friend of mine who I respect, who is telling me to chill the fuck out, I'm going to. And that's where the end of, and that's where the end of the episode starts. And and Ash, I would love to do a voice chat on Discord, but I'm too fucking spent. I will be on Discord. I'll text you guys, but that's about it. I'll talk to you guys later.